Hi and welcome to this tutorial on the G major scale. One of the most difficult things is getting this scale in tune. So, don't forget the hand shape. We've got the gap between the first and second finger and the gap from the first and second finger should be the same as from the second finger to the fourth finger. Where the third finger is, that's up to you. I tend to keep mine close to my fourth finger, but you, as long as you've got the gap between that one and that one, the same, you should be okay pitch-wise. We're in first position, so check against the nut where the fourth finger is now is where my first finger is going. So I'll just do that again. My first finger is on the nut, where my fourth finger is is where my first finger is going. The G major scale consists of G, which is second finger on the E string, A, open A string, B, which is the first finger, don't forget that first finger push back. Second finger on the A string, which is C. Then D, open D. First finger on the D string, which is E. And then fourth finger on the D string. F sharp, make sure that's pushed up right. And then G. We're going to keep going to A and B. So that's all the notes, I'll play them one after another. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. Now the idea will be that to start off with, you're trying to get the notes in tune. So to help you with that, I'm going to play at a steady beat, four notes like this. A gap for you to play for notes. Okay, got the idea? So it goes like this one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's the whole scale. You could, if you wanted to, after I've played the four beats, hold yours on for a four beat, four beat note. Or you could go for two beat, two notes, two beat notes. Try to make it a bit more interesting. So that's the first part that's to help you to get in tune. Make sure you're listening really, really carefully to make sure the pitch is accurate. Now, once you've done that, why not make up some short tunes using the G major scale? So, here we go. There's a short one. 
short tune. Now let's try this one. And another one. And I finished off one. And then what you could do is put them all together. your own tunes. Use the notes to make tunes. <laughs> to make up little tunes. It's just another fun exercise. When we're playing scales, scales are the bread and butter of any string player, or any instrument player really. It is super important. So why not make scale practice fun by making up your own tunes? There are hundreds of examples of tunes that have been written by composers playing around with scales. Enjoy your G major scale. Thank you. Mm -hmm.